Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. The sequel that everybody asked for, Smiley Face, Dummy Town has now moved to the UK. <laughs> Um, I'm excited to play a Negotech level because I don't think I've played a Negotech level in a long time and a lot of people have recommended this one. I am very well familiar with all of the ins and outs of Dummy Town. Don't you worry. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> and we're in the box. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna go around this box like a not dummy. I'm gonna go down this pit like a dummy that we are. <laughs> yeah, this is already great. <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of here! What's happening? <laughs> Did you see the the swamp just like evaporated into thin air at the top of the screen? Okay, we're gonna hit this and. Just Back the heck. Oh no, we're okay. Yeah. We're okay. Ooh! No! <laughs> oh, I fell for that so hard. No, I'm being I'm being manipulated. Ooh! I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but it's not that either. Oh, I just stand there. Okay, I literally think I stand here and don't kill myself. Yeah. <laughs> All I had to do was not stupid. All right. I'm hitting Z, nothing's happening. Oh, those aren't falling down. Wait. Oh! <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, what the <laughs> That mole was eating chili for dinner, holy crap. <laughs> the moles in the United Kingdom can breathe fire. The freaking Z. I love how this meme has, wait, 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 has still never died. Okay. Oh, it's, I forgot. It's a Carl guarantee. Oh, <laughs> learning has taken place. All right, learning, but wait, no. I'm scared. No! Ah, uh, uh, somebody's at the door. Give me one second. Seems like Carl's trash can has arrived. All right, well, we're probably dead. Pretty sure we're dead. Wait, I can make this jump, right? <laughs> no, I cannot make this jump. No, I cannot make this jump. Simon says get trolled. Right, right? Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Okay, I don't know how this necessarily helps me, but... I'm kind of scared I'm gonna go for it. What just happened? Did I get a checkpoint? What just happened? Do I want to be up here? What just happened? Hey, checkpoint! I don't know if I did something right or if I did something dumb. <laughs> I have no idea if I did something right or something dumb right there. You never know. You might be judging me right now, but you never know. <laughs> wait, does this open? Oh, I think I was, wait. Was I supposed to take damage and hit that P-switch? Cause I think I could. Uh Oh, oh, this is okay. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna be in here if you guys need me. Oh, there is a star. Do I want that? I have a feeling I don't want that star. Do I want that star? We're not gonna get that star until, until there's no other option. I'm not getting that star. All right, we need to move fast. Move fast. Oh my God, look at those wiggly, wiggly wigglers. Wait, this is a, this is a defender setup. This is a defender setup. In the defender setup, you hit this and the piranha will smack me in the face. <laughs> it was not the same setup. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you think that with all that with all that power when they jump on stuff though that they would have strong They would have some more lower body strength 
Chinese, mm, yeah, give me the shine. Give me the shine. Whoa! Whoa! This is fine. This is fine. This is not fine. Alright, I'm just gonna make my escape. Wait a minute. Oh, we needed a fire flower. Oh! Well, that's not nice. I think we need that fire flower. I think we need that fire flower. Oh, that is like the setup. I just realized that is like the setup from Dummy Town, from Defender's level. That is like it. It's just only vaguely like, like it. Because in Defender's you had to like, hit them in the right order and then have a fire flower come over to you. Oh yeah, it's sort of, it's sort of saying it right there. Oh, that's, okay. And then a muncher, in Defender's level, a muncher falls right here. That's how you would know that. A muncher falls right there in I'm, I'm, it felt like kind of random that, oh, that doesn't do anything. It felt kind of random that that. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Oh, we're doing it. Okay, wait, so I have to, I can big brain this, all right? I don't, I'm falling for everything right now, but I need, I can break out, I can break free. We just have to think one step ahead of, so we have to, rem first we have to remember defender's level. See, a bomb is exploding, so it forces, it like makes me scared and I run back, but that's exactly what I need to not do. Okay, this is fine. Oh, then this thing, this contraption, this contraption, I think jump over the, uh, wait, in Defender's level, you could stand on it. It definitely looks like you can't stand on it there. I'm gonna just jump over to, but not the arrow, next to the arrow. Big Brain, 42069. <laughs> oh, that's not even, no! Okay, I think we had something somewhat sort of, actually I think we do, hold on, I think we jump over this and then we do stand here, yeah. Where was, was there a mole? Is this something else? Wait, okay, there it is, there it is, there it is. Now the vine comes. Everything is vine. Wait, what? What's that arrow? Uh oh, music is usually bad. Wait, wait. What's the arrow pointing to? Wait. Wait, what? Oh, that. Oh, that's the. Defender hit a mushroom behind a bullet. Defender hit a mushroom behind a bullet bill, and that time it was the star that broke my. The platform below me, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Okay, I think we just sit tight like a not dummy. Not dummy strategy, sit tight. I did not understand what caused me to get the star last time. I think I need to do a duck jump or I need to not suck, one or the other. It's a toss up really. Okay, we're gonna do a duck jump. Yeah. I have to go in here. I ran out of <laughs> creativity. <laughs> this is a bearware pun. I thought I heard a checkpoint when I hit that. Do I want to be here? The first time I could have sworn I heard a checkpoint or something like that. Do I want to be here right now? CP1, CP2, was skip up, no! Why is there a door there? Oh, this is, <laughs> that was so bad. That was the worst hidden pipe I've ever seen in my entire life. And I walked right into it. That was the absolute worst hidden pipe I have ever seen. 
and I just stumbled and bumbled right into it. What? What? <laughs> the infinite fish dispenser. I didn't think anyone would fall for that. Wow. The level creator is in my chat saying I didn't think anybody would fall for that. I called this freaking checkpoint. I just didn't smart enough to realize what was happening. Wait, am I going in a different door now? Wait. Am I? Did I CP1010 myself? What did he? Hold on. Do I go back in this pipe and then not suck? Wait. Uh <laughs> What's this? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, no more pipes. No more pipes. I can still get out of this. Ugh. Oh gosh, what's happening over there? All right, we need to we need to either get that boot faster or just piece out of there faster. All right, let's just try to get out of here. Uh. Oh. All right, we're going in, we're going in. This could be good. This seems legitimate. Wait, there's a donut right here. Ah! Oh! I don't even remember this troll, but I don't want to be here. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! It keeps grabbing me! Stop it! <laughs> I want to see if it's even possible to go in this pipe down here. This is where in Defender's level the... Oh! <laughs> the Wigglers come down. Oh my gosh. And then there's another one where clouds come down, right? That was in... Oh yes, didn't Symplectic sort of make a play on this too? He totally did. This section has been in like four levels now. All right. Yeah, we have to go in this. I'm just getting out of here. <laughs> Bye. Wait. Oh, do I need that fire ball? What's down here? Uh-oh. Oh, I do need it. I do need it. Uh. <gasps> oh, what's going on? Nico, stop! What is this section? What is this section? Oh, thank goodness that hit me. Do I want this or not? I don't actually know if I want this. I should be able to get it, though. Yeah. Oh! Well, I lost my chance. I mean, I it doesn't matter that much, right? What's up here? Nothing. Wait, I do need it. I do need it. That's right. Oh, no, we're here again. Not this again. I think I want this bomb to hit me. Eh. Eh. No, I don't want the star. Eh. Oh. Uh-oh. How do I die? I don't want to kill the- I don't want to kill- wait, wait, no, I just need to collect all the stars? Wait. Maybe the star won't hit me here. Okay, okay, okay. Ghost- No! I just killed the ghost! No! Oh, I'm not safe here. Where am I safe? Where am I- I think I'm safe. Wait, we gotta go- No! Oh! How about here? Okay, I think we're safe, I think we're safe. All right, we just have to dodge the star. Okay, jeez, that section. We do want this, and then let's see, if we just do a duck jump or like that, yeah, it's okay. Now, we should be able to not get hit here if we don't dummy. Okay, we didn't dummy. This looks too hard, like this can't be right. That was hard. Uh. That was hard, I don't know if that was right. We're gonna have to take get a hit there. That was really hard, I don't, I'm surprised if that was the real solution. I was, oh, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. I'm not hitting it. I don't wanna hit it. I don't wanna hit it, I'm. Ah! <laughs> oh, I don't think I can make that jump over there. Maybe we do hit it. Oh, <gasps> you can duck in the boot? Look at this, you can duck in the boot. I did not know that you could duck in the boot. I did not know that you could duck in the boot. 
Oh. Oh, and that's why this is here to lose the... Okay, we were doing that section completely wrong. <laughs> we were doing that section 100% completely wrong. <laughs> that's why it felt so hard. Okay, we're gonna go in this. Oh, I think this is good. I think this is good. Uh, so now we can get this. Now we can go through here. We can be smart. No more dummy town. Anything up here? Uh oh! <laughs> what was I just saying about no more dummy town? That was biggest dummy town. Oh, it's trying to bait me into. No, is it? No, that's what you're supposed to do, right? Does this. Why is that bad? This is fine, right? Uh-oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh-oh, it's not fine! Uh-oh, that's the flag! <laughs> Wait a minute. What? What do you mean that's the flag? What do you mean that's the flag? How do I... The dive bomb skips the flag. <laughs> while you are while you are um, playing dead with the dry bones, it goes through flags. I completely forgot about that. You can't touch a flag while you're in the uh, while you're in the playing dead mode. Is there a way to make that jump? I don't think so. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I can just hold right and win. Oh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> okay, you can almost just hold right and win. <laughs> it's like an experimental AI trying to detect the flag. That was a great level. Uh, I, I just dummied the heck out of one of those parts, but everything else was great. Um, I heard that there was a compilation troll level by Wilfred, and I am sad that I have not played more Wilfred levels. I think I missed a few of them in there. So I want to check this out. This is, this is apparently Wilfred's best trolls of 2019. Let's do it! The best of Wilfred. Is this even a troll? Was that even a troll? <laughs> oh, that's gonna burn me. I remember this one. I remember this one. This one was actually in a level I played. And now we get to see whether the- Now, we, this is- this is actually good. This is the true test of the things that Carl has learned of the things Carl has learned because I actually remember this next one and I fell for it again. <laughs> oh my god. I do need... No! I don't remember how to do it! <laughs> I don't remember how to do it! Uh, I don't remember how to do it. I've literally done this troll before and I don't remember how to do it. Yeah, okay. Is that it? I don't even know. I don't think I've done this one before. Oh god. Well, I couldn't get in that door. I was about to... Hold on, I'm gonna do this. Pow? 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 Wait, how do I bring the pow? <laughs> oh, I can get two pows. I can get two pows. <laughs> uh... Oh! Did I? I haven't fallen for that. Why are there like 16 gigabillion pipes right there? I haven't been down that pipe before, right? <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. Okay, I've definitely never seen this before. I've definitely never seen this before. Can you even do this? Look at his head pops up. <laughs> when I push the fireball button, his head pops up for a second. Oh, it stopped. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> There's like one frame of his head popping up. Why is that amusing me so much? Okay, I've definitely never seen this before. This looks like Garbo though. I think I wanna just hold up, but... <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I jumped then? Why do I go in it? That doesn't make any sense. I'm literally on the vine. This looks like... It looks like it's trying to trick me to duck, so I'm not gonna duck. If I tried to duck onto the spike, I think I would go in the pipe. 
And I already fell for that once. <laughs> I remember that one! I remember that one! I remember that one! Oh, that's a good one. I remember that one. Almost went down that pipe. Okay, we have to sit tight here and be a brave boy. Uh-oh. <laughs> I sat too tight. All right. Ooh! Wait, why don't I just wait? Okay, that actually worked. Is that a troll? Or did I wait? Did I want that Yoshi? I can't remember. I feel like I should remember, but I don't remember. Yeah, I want to go to Italy so that I can make fun of Kievik and- Oh! Does that not work? Wait. What is that? Why are there 8 billion blue platforms down here? Now, how do I do this and not be bad? I- th No! Wait. Okay, I did everything wrong, but I think it was right, but I've already played this level before, so I should know what to do, but I don't. Let's hit this shiny. Give me the- No! Yeah, I fell for that! I'm never falling for that same freaking one! Oh my god, I fell for the same one! Because these levels are poop, I get it. Alright. That's... That... <laughs> did that happen last time? I can't remember, but that almost that almost squished me on the way back down. <gasps> Yo, glitch with the best resub of all time. 42 months, let's go. <laughs> Did that never get patched or banned or anything? Isn't that a glitch? Hold on, where's that muncher? Oh, is it just hiding a track? That's not even a glitch. Wait, that's not even a glitch, is it? All right. I think I remember this one. I think I actually remember this one. I think I actually... I don't think I fell... I don't think I fell for that the other time I played this. Oh my goodness. We were flying! We were dying! We were crying! Alright, we need to... We need to get not that much speed, maybe. I remember you failing. Uh-oh. Okay, let's do it like... You can't even go in that. Okay, there we go. Against the TOS to have a lie in the title. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, I can't. I remember seeing this, but I don't remember the troll. Mm. I don't remember the troll. I'm gonna just jump. I didn't come remotely close to doing that right. What do I do? Let's just fall. <laughs> this is direct, verifiable evidence that I learn absolutely nothing. I think I go up here. Right. This is so weird still to me, what I'm on. I'm like on something up there, but not on something up there at the same time. It's very strange. Oh no. All right, I think this is probably gonna be one of these. Is that the troll? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not the troll. Uh, okay. Oh, see, this is new. I don't think I've done this one. I haven't done this one. I haven't done this one. What's trolly about this? I don't get what's trolly about this. Oh, it's gonna make me go flying, I think. It's gonna make me go fly. What's the troll there? Cause this doesn't make you, look at that. I don't get it. Oh! <laughs> That's the troll! The troll is it looks like a troll setup and it's not. It's not a troll setup. It's- it makes you- it makes you think you're outsmarting it and you're not. Oh. Can you please boo my level? Yeah, I think I can do that for you. Yeah, this makes you think that you're gonna go flying off. <laughs> I thought it was happening and it wasn't happening. 
Yeah, it pulls you up out of the one way. I swear, I thought that was a glitch. I'm surprised that works. Oh gosh, I don't think I know this one. <laughs> what? That's so weird. I haven't seen that one before. That was kind of cute. My favorite one out of all of those is the uh, is the one that that comes from below you, pushes you up, and then you walk into the pipe. That was just that was a cute little level. A compilation of my favorite troll stacks I made this year. I like that, and that was cute. Also, I learned nothing. I checked, and there is just one troll you haven't seen. But on the other hand, we all know you have the memory of a fish with amnesia. You had already forgotten all the trolls, so go ahead. Yeah, you were right. <laughs> you were right. I had indeed forgotten all of them. Oh my god. What do you think of the panic of the new coronavirus from China? I mean, it's good that people are trying to figure out new emerging diseases before they become a- well, okay. The real way to do it would have been to be like figuring out what viruses are in animals and all that all the time. And people are, but there's not that many doing it. So I'd like it if there was even more funding for that kind of stuff. But hey, at least at least now, like they've already figured out the genome sequence of the virus. Um, you know, they've narrowed it down to a family of viruses called coronavirus, which is really interesting. Look at these guys. These are the coronaviruses. Um, and the reason they're called that is the corona is like, does it mean crown or something like that? But it's because they have all these little these little proteins around them forming a corona. It looks kind of like a corona. Doesn't the sun have a corona? Something like that. That's why they named that. They're pretty neat. But um, yeah, if anybody hasn't been following it, there's pro it's probably what happens is there are lots of these viruses that can infect all sorts of different animals. Like there was a the famous example of SARS coronavirus, and the um, for SARS, which happened like almost 20 years ago now, there was a bat that had there's there these viruses. There are tons of different like slightly different versions of it in in stuff like bats. And if those bats bite or infect or poop on or whatever, um, humans or just other animals, sometimes they can transmit them and these viruses can actually become adapted to a different species. And that's probably what just happened in China. So um, most likely there was some sort of trade of uh, animal products and meat and stuff. And they don't know for sure that this is what happened, but it's very likely, I think, that this is what happened. That one of these viruses was close enough to being able to infect humans that um, that somebody caught it from one of these animals. And then it's kind of interesting because once these viruses infect a human host, they mutate so that they become more and more adapted for humans. Yeah, viruses mutate to develop communicability is a wild... Wait, it is... Wait, was that a joke about wild or is it... <laughs> it is pretty wild though. So it's like as they transmit between humans, it gets better adapted for them, which can be scary if they turn into being a super dangerous pathogen. Um, Usually coronaviruses can, they can definitely kill people, but they tend to only kill elderly or immunocompromised people, which is still not great, obviously. Um, so hopefully people can develop like therapeutics and vaccines and stuff and just stop it from spreading before it becomes a huge problem. Um, but I don't know, like at this point, I'm not like super worried about it, I guess, but we'll have to see. I think the scary part is just the unknown. Like you never know when you're gonna get the newest, the when, when you're gonna get one that ends up being super, super dangerous and bad. Virus kills people, Carl. Oh yeah, they're pretty neat. Yeah, that just goes along with, with virology, I guess. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's really awful. <laughs> uh, can you explain what causes the mutation of a virus? Is it just normal evolution? Yeah, so um, if you imagine when a virus infects somebody, there's only a few little ones of these things, like each one of these little virus particles, they call them. Uh, let's say like a handful of them you breathe in and you get infected. Well, if it establishes an infection in your lungs, those like initial few are going to multiply into millions, billions and trillions and more of these individual particles. And while it's doing that, it's changing and mutating. Um, the DNA will randomly, or RNA, I think this is an RNA virus, um, will randomly mutate, and some of those mutations might be, might make it better. Most of them probably won't. Most of them will probably make it worse, but when you're producing so many, it doesn't matter. Some of them will probably be better adapted for humans. Um, some, some part of their structure, or like the little proteins, or the different components that interact with our bodies, will change to be better. And so, the if anyone if any of them do mutate and become better 
your body is going to tend to become more full of the ones that are better infecting humans. And so if you then transmit this virus to somebody else and that keeps happening over and over and over again, it becomes more and more and more adapted to humans and it can somewhat, it can become a quote, better pathogen. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna become more deadly. Some, there's actually a lot of research showing that as viruses that have existed in the human population for long periods of time, tend to not actually be as devastating. And, uh, but it, it goes back and forth. It depends on the virus, so. And obviously not that devastating is <laughs> a huge relative term. What is the difference between DNA and I think you said RNA? Um, it's a very similar way of encoding genetic information, but RNA tends to be less stable. Um, it's, it's, some, it's sometimes seen as being more primitive evolutionarily than DNA, but generally things that are made out of RNA can mutate faster. So yeah, so um, there's some concern about whether or not the virus is infectious before people show symptoms. Um, if you think about it, as far as like people spreading a disease go, it's much worse if you can spread that disease before you even know that you have it. Because if you're sick and you're, you know, super, if you're not feeling good, if you have a fever, if you're coughing, whatever, most people are gonna be more inclined to stay inside, either because they're tired and feel like crap, or just because they know that it can affect people if they, you know, cough on other people or whatever. Uh, there's some worry that this virus might be able to spread before people show symptoms, which would definitely make it easier to spread. So that would definitely be, be bad if that's the case. With respect to the virus, it should also be better to not kill the host, right? Yeah, right. So if a virus is like 100% lethal, you know, instantly after you acquire it, then the virus wouldn't have time to replicate. It wouldn't have time to be coughed out and pooped out and excreted and bleh, whatever it is the viruses do to get out of the environment and infect other people. Um, so generally it's not useful for a virus to kill people too fast. Yeah, viruses would prefer that you were healthy, but you, there's only so much you can do on your, you know, they're, they're sort of using our bodies, our cells and our machinery and such to make more copies of themselves. And that's gonna cause a problem most of the time. Though really, they're actually, it's kind of cool. Most, most bacteria and most viruses don't cause any disease or symptoms. They just sort of coexist. So there's definitely a place, it's definitely possible for, for most things to exist even inside of our bodies without causing like detectable levels of disease. This is why the solution is to never leave your house. Your name is very appropriate, Dr. Ill. <laughs> How are vaccines made? That's a good question. I could answer that in probably like 30 minutes. The like quick explanation is, vaccines, it's like when your immune system sees something, it remembers how to destroy it. So if you just, but the problem with that is getting sick also sucks. So if you make a virus, bacteria, whatever, and the make is a long process that I'm gonna completely skip over, but if you make it less harmful or weaker, and then you give that to somebody instead, then their immune system can still learn what the virus, bacteria, whatever, looks like, and they can still kill it without actually making people sick. That's the basic idea behind vaccines. It's not necessarily made out of dead cells. It can be made like, okay, so for example, you wanna vaccinate somebody against this coronavirus. So this is what the actual virus might look like. It's just a blob inside of this blob is the RNA. Um, and these little, these little proteins on the surface, often called the spike proteins, are what attach to your cells and let them in. And if this thing can infect like bats and you know, whatever, cows, whatever else it can infect, this little spike on the surface has to be able to attach to a bat cell as well as a human cell and all that. Um, so if you uh, just take just this one protein um, and you vaccinate people with it, it might be enough. If your body produces antibodies against this spike on the surface, it could cover this virus and the virus would no longer be able to get inside of your cells because these things wouldn't be able to connect to your cells anymore. So a vaccine doesn't have to be a living virus. It could just be this one component of it, for example. Some, vi some vaccines that we have right now are live viruses, but they're very weak. Some are viruses that have been killed um, by treating them with chemicals or heating them up or whatever. And other vaccines called subunit vaccines are just one little component of the virus rather than the whole thing. 
and they each one of those things has advantages and disadvantages for different viruses and some of them may be more expensive or less expensive is jank enough that it gets in a lot of different species exactly defender <laughs> and evolutionarily it could sometimes pay off to have that jank built in you know sometimes it goes left sometimes it goes right sometimes you want left sometimes you want right <laughs> so having the option for both is good what do viruses gain from killing their host a lot of the time nothing though it's possible for it's possible for it to not matter. Let's say a virus is primarily living in mosquitoes. If it ends up in a human or inside of a human's brain, and it ends, whether it kills that human or not, it doesn't really matter. The virus doesn't do anything in the human. It's mainly just wants to live in the mosquitoes and get, tra and get transmitted in them. And it could be like that for anything else too. Uh, maybe it would be better for the virus if it evolved to also live in humans or something else that's like they call this like secondary hosts or um, Or like it can be a, it's sometimes called as like a dead-end infection like the virus just sort of ends up infecting something that it's not really trying to infect um, And yeah, it'll end it could end up killing that host But it's it's not necessary for the virus because it's happily living in some other host So but like I don't know there are examples where viruses end up just sort of living with people instead Like there's some really really interesting examples. There's these things called endogenous retroviruses and something like six to nine percent of our DNA is just viruses that have just become us because they sort of live, you know, symbiotically with us. There are lots of examples of our genes that came from viruses and these viruses just sort of lived with us forever. It's also thought that there are viruses that live inside of us and with us that protect us and our bodies sort of keep them around, sort of like, because what is an analogy? I know there's a great analogy for this. Like, will you keep something around just because it protects you from something else? <laughs> An axe. <laughs> it could hurt you, but if you use it wisely, it won't. But yeah, again, the vast majority of bacteria and viruses don't cause disease. We just tend to focus on the ones that do. Inject the bacteria into a plant to create a plant-based vaccine. I'd love to explain how it works, my friend, but I lack the knowledge you need. Listen, I just know that they work and that vaccines are a good thing, okay?